how do you get a doctor to depart from standard medical advice and write you a prescription for autophagy? In my case, cancer hit someone very near and dear to me, my mom. These three things are not only what I recommended for her, but I do them myself. You do not need to have a devastating diagnosis to benefit. But for the best chance of surviving a serious illness, the secret is autophagy. When you have autophagy, you clean up damaged cells. You know, the ones that grow and mutate into things you don't want. These are problems like cancer and autoimmune disorders. Autophagy recycles those cells while the best and most healthy cells flourish. This is the best bet for surviving any of the chronic diseases in life. As a doctor, I see lots of sick people and they ask me, what is the best thing I can do to recover or survive or like me to prevent them from happening in the first place? These three things are the best autophagy boosters that I advise. Number one, lower the insulin. Yeah, insulin is a growth hormone. It makes things grow. Stop pouring miracle Grow on your cancer or your inflammatory problems by decreasing the insulin. As patients come in in all stages of disease, we use this roadmap as a way to help them reverse what has taken sometimes decades to get their metabolism this broken. You know, each step along the continuum pushes their metabolism a little further and then we ask them to master that skill before they go any further, or they often crash and then fall off the wagon altogether. When you look along the keto continuum, you will notice that fasting made the list. Yes, fasting is a very important stimulus for autophagy, but only when you have the right chemistry set backing you up to begin with. Follow along that keto continuum and you will find your best metabolism. Hold that there until you master it and then move to the next step. Number two, a hyperbaric oxygen chamber. <laughs> we actually bought one of these when my mother was fighting cancer. You can rent one for an hour to see if you can handle that space or if claustrophobia gets the best of you. That pressurized oxygen really packs a punch when you are fighting inflammatory problems like cancer or other major inflammatory issues. I have patients with wound healing that we prescribe that as the way the antibiotic actually reverses the damage done to that wound. My mom actually used that oxygen chamber most nights to sleep in, but especially when she was having difficult times or when she'd had a round of chemotherapy. This constant pressure and then hours spent under pressure was one of the places where she really did heal faster. Our family uses the chamber when we have things like an upper respiratory infection or if we've had a hard workout and we want that healing to happen even faster. Number three, the final push for advancing metabolism in the setting of severe illness is sauna. Yeah, the steam or finish sauna when the data over the infrared or dry saunas. And if you can find a steam sauna, you need to slowly work your way up to 180 degrees. Yes, 180 degrees. And then you want to try and sustain that for 19 and a half minutes. The perfect score is at least five times a week. That is not easy. That is a long journey. Let me clarify. Today's modern westernized medicine offers amazing advancements in the treatments for these awful diseases that are known for pushing us into the grave. Add these three strategies to your doctor's prescriptions for a win-win. There is nothing like your own mortality to motivate you. But I will tell you that even then, it is hard to sustain that motivation when you are dealing with the turmoil and that facing of your own mortality. One of the easiest coping skills to deal with stress and is legal is carbohydrates. And to fight off that temptation, you need support. The best success stories that I've seen in using this advanced autophagy is when someone joins you for this journey. That's why I started keto in the first place. I did it to support my mom. My mom's story changed the trajectory of my life and my medical practice. You can watch more of that story here. If you want the workbook that I use to coach my patients on where to go, click here.